Even when Ward was jailed for attacking her, Valerie said she still loved him. She finally decided to get a good in ten years. Valerie's family said he should never be released. One legacy of his crimes is that West Yorkshire police now accept the advice of women's groups that women are mostly danger in their own homes. This is a very real contradiction if women are targeted to capture this handling so that they don't trust the happen in their own homes, for example, they have to feel it's their fault. They must be mismanaging it. This is a very small beyond West Yorkshire's policy changes. Officers must treat domestic violence as a crime. West Yorkshire say they've led the way with the first detailed survey monitoring domestic violence. It shows they're progressing but still have some way to go. 28% of alleged offenders were arrested. Senior officers want to see the policy implemented more rigorously. What about These officers on patrol in Pontefract know the first time is protecting women from violence when the call comes. Uh, one of the say something that the other one doesn't agree with. Well, that's when we get calling. Got a channel control to 379. Can you proceed, please, towards the up to area? We've got a report of a domestic dispute uh, on the Rose Estate. Husband's come home uh, making trouble with the wife. If you make your way towards that location, we'll get uh, all officers on route to you uh, and check the domestic violence index for previous reports on that. Twenty minutes later, the officers yeah. leave the house, having brought the yeah. evidence. Well, the potential every domestic that you attend uh, is that it could result in a murder when tempers are raised to such a sense. Computer records tell them of previous incidents at the house, but many calls were from women turning to the police for the first yeah. time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Officers just don't know what they're going to encounter. Some incidents can be ferocious. These officers are training with other officers acting out the role of a fighting couple. This is an advanced training exercise for officers within the Force Domestic Violence Unit. Officers are encouraged to confront any difficulties they may have about intervening in other people's domestic upheavals. The force are concerned about the number of occasions on which officers have declined to take firm effective action, even though the victims had sustained injuries. I'm just finding out I'm going back with him. I just don't know what to do. It doesn't cause me concern. It caused me concern when the results came out. It gets bad enough when he's being drinky. Really, our role isn't yeah. to be conciliators or anything, it's to apply the law. And how we're going to apply it now is that if people assault women in the homes, then it's a crime. Yeah. If the evidence exists, they're going to be arrested for it. Yeah. It's a tragedy, really, that in the majority of cases, that the police are perhaps the last resort. Yeah. Arrest and imprisonment as a short term solution to a long term problem. If this man's been assaulting his wife for over a number of years, the mere fact that he's sent to prison for three months isn't going to be turned either. I don't think that the issue's got to be treated wider than that. He needs some sort of treatment or it wants bringing home to him. You've got to build that trust back up because she's in touch with your talent. I think she's in touch with you. Yeah. Get up! Fuck off! <laughs> nearly finished now, just go away! Get up! Move! Go and get the ball!
it could be much more serious. Mm -hmm. So it's even causing um, mild physical harm, or even possibly. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think it really helps. It's just a little bit of 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 a little